Our skill today is about checking for credibility. Basically, we want to make sure that we don't get trolled when we're on the internet. Beware the Russian bot. Our debate is all about if it should be mandatory to wear a mask in public. And we'll be asking this question of if our sources are credible about wearing masks. And remember, cred credible means that it's reliable or trustworthy about the topic. So we have three sources. We watched the video. We're gonna see an article about a lawsuit in San Diego. And then we're gonna see a tweet from an economics professor. So now let's go to our document and start thinking about SOAP, the way to check for credibility. So we have the basic information at the top already. Now we're gonna think about context. And as you know, that means research. So to start us off, who's the author? In this case, we're gonna be focusing on the speaker, who's Brandon Straka. Now, what do we know about him? Honestly, I only know his name. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go search him and see what comes up. All right, he's on Twitter, clearly. Oh dang, he's got his own Wikipedia page. He's got his own campaign. Clearly he's into politics. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about him. Dang, there's a lot of stuff, mostly about a controversy, interesting. So we can see already that he's into politics, he has a social media campaign, and also it looks like his campaign might be propaganda. They're connecting him to Russia, what? Okay, this is bigger than I ever thought. So let's pause for a second and go back. Next, about the author. We figured out he's an activist, he's got a social media campaign, he might be connected to the Russian government, so many questions. And because he was there, that means he's a primary source. Now let's move on to the occasion. And for the occasion, we're gonna to need to do a little bit more research. We already have a little bit of the information though. When and where is it from? June 18th, 2020. Now, this I think is really important. Were there any important events that were going on? Obviously we know this is in, um, this is during the COVID pandemic. But a good little trick to do is to go back to Google and to actually search the date. And I'm gonna put it in quotation marks because if you remember that puts all of the words together. June 18th, 2020, okay? And then the cool thing about Google is that you can actually go straight to the news. So look, right here we've got a coronavirus weekly update, which feels like it's probably relevant. So let's go down. It looks like by June 18th, there were some states that had already uh, stopped their stay-at-home orders. Dang, 38 states. So there's already this debate about how serious do we feel about COVID-19. Context about the occasion. It turns out there was actually some pretty specific stuff happening at that time about the pandemic and especially around stay-at-home orders. So it seems like this is pretty important that was happening in June when this debate was getting bigger and maybe he actually decided to record it so that people could actually see it on his social media blogs. Now it's time to think about his audience. And sometimes the best way to do that is to actually go back to the text so that we can make interpretations. So we're gonna look at the text or the video and think about whose attention was he trying to get? So how do we know who his audience was? This morning, a battle over masks. This is insane. Absolutely insane. So it's, we don't even have a choice anymore. That's Stop. political activist Brandon Straka refusing to wear it. We could see from the details that his audience was probably social media. We also already know that he has a social media campaign called Walk Away, so that context helps. But the other thing that I found interesting was that he was taking this as a selfie. And usually when we see these viral videos, it's someone else taking the video. So he must have known that he wanted to share it with people. So I'm gonna write both of those things under audience. The most important step now is perspective, because this is where you go back and you try to decide what is the author's perspective? What are they using to make their argument? I'm just being told this is the law, I have to get off, but it's not the this law. This is what America follows. If you, if you do not wear a mask, we're going to ask 
ask you to come up the end. I'm asking you not to record. I'm sorry that you don't like it, but I mean, I don't like wearing a mask. Well, I'm going to ask you to come up the end. We see that he's using a lot of emotion. He's frustrated, he's angry, and he also tries to use some logic. He says it's not the law, but then he returns to say, I don't like wearing a mask. So we can see that he doesn't agree with the rule. Now your last step is to use all this information to decide if this is a credible source or not. So start debating, what do you think?